Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? This is Saturday morning. It's about close to three o'clock here in Minnesota. Kind of cold uh, outside. You can imagine that. But if you've got uh, some pretty good heat, 75 degrees, uh, you might be a little hot. For me, that would require that I get close to a window and kind of open that baby up. Sometimes if that air is coming in, you're not paying attention, you can kind of get a quick head cold. And I think that must have happened to me because I found myself in a position where it seemed like I was awakened with the uh, discovery that I couldn't breathe. And so I thought about that because this is nothing new. Oftentimes you might find yourself where you get that that cold build up in your nose or nostrils somewhere and can't get that air through there. So you do what you have to do. You open your mouth and breathe. And that got you some air, so you sit up and start thinking. Now, because the coronavirus, you don't just think about a cold. You start thinking, is there something else wrong? You know how that story goes. So you get up, sit up on the side of the bed, and you were listening to some music. And now you decide, since you can't sleep, you might as well turn on some social media, see what's going on. And the first thing I hear is uh, people who are very dissatisfied because Bernie Sanders got out of the race. And uh, they are pissed also because of the commentary that comes from other sources about things like this. And you have uh, Megan McCain, they showed, who was talking about uh, Bernie leaving and uh, out of the uh, campaign and that uh, how the Democrats would be upset as they were with Bernie the last time when uh, he was with running and said his voters went over at least 12% of them and voted for uh, Trump. And the, the uh, source of this information was upset because they never tell you that when uh, Clinton was running against Barack Obama, he got the nomination, at least 24% of her supporters went and voted for McCain. Now, why they do this, why they do that, you can think of all the reasons. I can't. The only thing I can think of, they lost their minds. And why do I say that? <clears throat> Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We're talking about Democrat. We're talking about Republican. You don't care what they, it seems, that what they're, what they're offering. You don't care. You just got some figment in your imagination that this is a Democrat stance. On the other hand, this is a Republican stance. And you know they always offer the same things. Ever since you've been voting, you've been hearing the same things from the Democratic Party, the same thing from the Republican Party. And every four years you discover that you got another election because these guys have not provided what they said they were going to do. Yes, your candidate might be an incumbent and you'll try to do what you can to keep him in office four more years, even though he's failed you the last four. But it just seems like you got a feel mentality about what's going on. Well, the thing that gets me, ladies and gentlemen, is the question. The question should be answered. What are these elections about? What is this campaign about? What is uh, changing the or giving people another chance to see who they want to represent? them? what is it all about? To me, it's about life. It's about a way of life. It's about a way of life that I am should be shared by Republican and Democrat alike. And when each of these guys, Republican and Democrat, are offering you these things and they never give it to you, and if they give you just a crumb here and there, why would you think the next crumb is going to be big enough? How would, why would you think that the next crumb would be sufficient enough to meet your needs? It's because you lost your mind. It had lost your mind. And the truth of the matter is, People who have lost their minds get what other folks want them to get. I'm not going to say you get what you deserve. You get what other folks want you to get. That's why you lose your mind. You bought into that lie. You bought into that program. Now, what am I basically saying? I'm basically saying that every Republican and every Democrat wants the same things. They want to live and they want to be happy and thrilled. That's a Republican. That's a Democrat. That's a Black, that's a white. That's a man, that's a woman. And none of 
These guys and ladies who promised you these things have ever delivered it. And you know what? You haven't required it. I bring you proof. Every campaign, well, I'm not going to repeat myself. If you're concerned about what I'm about to say, then watch some of my other videos. A Superior System of Government. That's my playlist. Listen to that. But here I am, ladies and gentlemen. I think that a human beings in America, at least, have lost their moral compass. They only care about themselves, even if they don't get all the things that they deserve or want. It's better, they say, than what they'll get from another. Hogwash. Hogwash. If you're going underwater and you're being held down, and it's time for that next breath to come. You want to breathe. And somebody is holding you down and you cannot breathe. You say to yourself, if I can just get up close enough, I'm going to knock the hell out of anybody that got their hands on me. And you mean it. Why? Because if you don't knock the hell out of them get their hands off of your head and you can come up out of that water and breathe, you're gone. So, this is why I say to you, the people, not the leadership. I'm talking about you, the people. You are the ones that's suffering. You are the ones that's being held under the water. And the American system that allows the people to keep you under that water, suffocating you, are not going to release you unless you give in to this hogwash and this jive that they offer. I'm saying it is time for you to make up your mind. You are going to knock the hell out of anybody that's killing you. You're going to knock the hell out of anybody that's holding you down under the water and won't allow you to breathe. And how do you do that? By having a moral compass. Moral compass, meaning basically, ladies and gentlemen, that you know what you require. And you're going to be morally responsible enough to just believe, if, 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 even if it's not true, that the next person have the same moral rights as you. And you're going to defend yours knowing that in order to defend yours, you are defending theirs at the same time. I mean, and you mean it. So what am I saying? I'm saying that a young man like me come along and say, ladies and gentlemen, we got to change the system. The Republicans cannot do any more than they've been doing, except what Donald Trump is doing. Donald Trump is changing the system, but not for you. You think he's changing it for you. But what he's doing is changing it for him and the Boys that got good money and their ambition to control and manipulate you because they feel that you're nothing but fools. They say you're blind. How in the world can a presidential candidate say I can walk out in the street and kill people and get away with it? They mean that means they have no respect for you at all. And you start celebrating. Yes, he can count on us. Wow. Can you believe that? Well, in spite of your mindlessness. Someone cares about you. The truth cares about you. That truth says food, clothing, and shelter, everybody needs it. Education and health care, everybody needs it. Peace, prosperity, and freedom, joy, dreams fulfilled, everybody wants it. Needs, wants, and desires, everybody craves it. Only one way it can be done. Everybody participate in the process. That means no white is more entitled, no black is more entitled, no male is more entitled, no woman is more entitled, no Democrat is more entitled, no Republican is more entitled, no American is more entitled than the rest of the world. But you put forward those basic principles and you will start seeing the flowers begin to bloom. You will begin to see life rise above that chaos again. But you have to be able to have a moral compass. You have to be able to have a mind. You have to be able to think. You have to be free enough to make a decision for yourself and not following the team. So ladies and gentlemen, I know this probably don't mean anything to you. In fact, I'm up saying it because, hey, a few minutes ago, I was shaking myself trying to breathe. And I don't know if something is wrong with me. I don't know if they say this thing can hit you one moment and next moment you're gone. But I want you to know, hey, I cared enough about you 
to at least leave a message to you. Now, this is not for you to believe. Belief don't mean a thing. But I want you to think about it. Think about it and make up your mind. Not believe. Think about it and make up your mind. Make up your mind. Thank you.